This is Ryan Elliott for ID Boxing. We're in Telford with me, Anthony Yard. Anthony, fight lined up. Arsenal top of the league. Life must be sweet right now. Life's good. <laughs> Let's talk about it then. Back in action. We'll, we'll come on to all things Baturbiev. But firstly, Koikov in front of you this weekend. First time in your career, I believe, you've only fought once in a year. So important to get those rounds in going into next year. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, for me, it's just, you know, this fight is very, very important. Um, again, it's, for me, it's another opportunity to be in front of a crowd having a professional boxing fight um, so it's exciting How difficult is it to manage that situation when you know there is a big fight coming it was meant to be October it's pushed back and you could sit on your hands or you, you could fight how difficult is that? Um, just focus focus for me it's like everyone everyone's saying this but it's each fight at a time anyway you know the, the last fight I had the winner got the next got the world title fight. It's, it's all the same thing. It's stage by stage, you know. The first fight in my career was just as important as the world title fight because it's all, it's all part of the journey. So that's just my mentality. Let's talk about Koikov. I had a look at his box right, good record. It seems to be quite small for a light heavyweight though. Does that pose its own challenges? To be honest, I just saw him. He don't look small to me at all. He's here. Um, that's why I don't, I don't listen to what, the, not the media, but what people say. You know, they say, oh, he's small or whatever. It looks quite big to me. <laughs> he looks in shape. So, um, yeah, that's good for me. We know you was a knockout artist, but would it be beneficial for this to go a few rounds on Saturday? Uh, however, it, however it goes, I feel, I feel that that's the most beneficial it will be. That's how it was meant to go. The question you're going to get asked a million times today. Uh, the news came up from Boxing Scene this morning that apparently the Baturbia fight will be announced after this fight immediately. January 28th, Wembley. Is that the plan as far as you're aware? Um, that's the plan as far as I'm aware, but it's not my focus at this particular time. So, to come on to that then, I know you want to focus on this fight, but the fact that this world title shot, you won't be travelling away from home, it's going to be here. Does that show the confidence that Frank and the team have in you? Um, I feel like it just, it just makes sense. Business... Um, in terms of business, and um, I feel like that's what it's meant to be. You know, sometimes you will say to yourself, um, why is it happening this way, or what's the situation, etc. But that's just how it's meant to be. This is how it's all meant to unfold. A lot has changed in your boxing career and your personal life since the Kovalev fight. I developed a lot as a, as a person, as a fighter. How would you say this Anthony Yard is different to the one that went and fought Sergei Kovalev? Um, different time, different year. <laughs> different air, um, it's just completely different. You know, I went out to, to Russia, again, it just shows me something within myself. Um, one thing, I, well, not one thing, but I really thank God for my, my, my courage, because I'm a person that, when I went into this boxing game, I said, I'm here for whatever it comes with. And that's, you know, taking criticism. That's, you know, taking big risk, that's, doing anything that's necessary. And when I see a big opportunity like going to Russia at that stage in my career, um, I'm literally a lion. I'm, I'm going for it. If I see the prey, if I'm seeing, if I see it there, I'm going for it. It's opportunity. I know you don't want to talk too much about Baturbiev right now, but just a final thing on that. He is a great fighter, but every man is beatable. Is the plan to knock him out? Um, we'll see. You know, my plan, again, I've said this, is, it's, not a, it's not aimed at any individual my plan and my the way my career is is when you step when I step into the boxing ring my my goal my mentality is to win the fight by knockout I'm an entertaining fighter um, especially at light heavyweight as well I feel like that's my style to go in there and get the knockout victory um, but I feel like that's what the fans want to see we spoke to you not long ago at the Shields Marshall fight and you seemed to really enjoy it, you were really upbeat afterwards. How much did that whet the appetite for your own headline bout in London? Um, completely different. You know, I went to that fight as a boxing fan. Um, I know Clarissa Shields from, you know, early in my boxing career. Um, she was supporting me, come, she came to my eighth professional fight when I fought in um, Dallas, Texas. And um, again, she was big, even at that time, two-time Olympian. Etc. So again, I'm always, I'm always going to show my support. She's in London, I'm definitely going. We asked you about Bivol Ramirez that night. You said you haven't seen that much of Ramirez, but you did expect Bivol to win. Did you watch the fight? I didn't. I didn't. You know what? Um, the promotion for that fight wasn't that big. Um, I knew they were fighting, but I, just, I didn't know when, or maybe I forgot when or whatever. But usually when fights happen, it's like you get the, you get the, 
oh yeah, this fight's happening, or people are talking about it. But um, I see the result. Um, from what I hear, it was a good boxing clinic. Um, yeah, it's good, it's good, exciting for the future. Final one I want to ask you about. We bumped into Joshua Boazzi when we had someone out there, and he's been a lot more vocal these days about what fight he wants. He said he's always getting stopped and asked about you in the street. Yeah. He says he does want that fight sooner rather than later. Does your gut tell you that that fight will happen? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, it's always been, it's always been out there. It's always been something that's been on my mind as well. Um, we're both from London, and that will be the biggest fight in London right now, I think. Um, but again, we both got two separate careers. We're not merged into one career. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I feel like, you know, I've got this massive fight coming up. Um, I don't know what he's doing right now. But again, he's been excellent up to now. Um, and I feel like it makes sense for him to want that fight now because I'm going into a fight, the biggest fight of my career for a unified light heavyweight championship of the world. Final message for everyone that's going to be watching on Saturday night, one fight away from the big one, but you do have business to take care of. What can they expect to see on Saturday? Um, entertainment, as always. Um, this is what I do This is what I do boxing for, to entertain. I'm an entertainer in the ring. Um, fireworks, excitement. Anthony, I'll thank you as always. I'll speak to you soon.